Hey guys, Lorfindel here. I'm gonna show you the beginning of this build. All right, so what I did is wash the model in the beginning. All right, simple as that. Um, I didn't shoot video of it, but I did shoot a few pics. So I'm gonna put those up onto this video. Um, you can read it even on the SSM site, and uh, you know, that's it. Take out of it what you can. All right, um, how I deal with mold release getting it off the model, the cleaning of the model, the parts, the whole thing. Um, not everybody does this, you know, uh, I'm anal, so I do stuff like this. Um, that's it, I'm saying I'm way too much. Let's get on to this, all right? Shall we? We're going to attempt building some guns today, and I'm going to show you a couple different methods that I use that uh, I'm going to try to recreate these. See these? What's that? Okay, these plastic things they give you with this kit. Um, yeah, you know, it's a typical uh, Star Wars. X-wing fighter gun cannon thing. Okay, I've went ahead and glued a set up out of the kit, and just just one I did for reference purposes. Okay, and as you know, you do this thing, you're gonna get that little seam down uh, the end of the plastic. Doesn't look very good. Um, the joining section here, where the shaft is, is a little bit on the soft side. Kind of center that a little so you boys can see that, all right? Um, even the, the ring up here, the collar on a cannon looks a little soft. Um, I don't know, I think we can fix it a bit. What do you think? Think we can do this? Well, let's give it a shot. All right, first up. I went ahead and bought some aluminum and brass rod and I, I did one or two attempts, so we're gonna try it again, okay? My first attempt I tried, and I'll show a pic, because I took some shots when I was doing this the other day, um, the other night actually. I toyed around with, you know that little miter box that's out there, a little metal thing? I'm not gonna go pull it out right now, but anyway, I tried that little miter box, and I had a, uh, not this chisel blade on this, but there's a cutting blade, and you'll see in the picture. Try cutting it in the miter box. It doesn't work like that. You, you can't do it like that. All right. So the best way to cut the pipe is get yourself one of these small little pipe cutters. They're made in Taiwan, okay? But these things work great because if you just you stick the piece in there, you clamp, you tighten it up a little bit, get a little pressure going and you rotate that stock, then you increase the, the pressure again, rotate it a few more times, just spin lightly. And believe it or not, you'll cut like butter through the styrene, uh, the styrene, it'll cut styrene too. Um, it'll go like butter through the aluminum and the brass. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate a little bit of all of it and uh, put some guns together. So first thing up, I'm gonna bring our little uh, piece into view. And then we're going to bring in a piece of aluminum. Okay, what I do um, to make this work. First thing I did is just really measure the tube up here. Give myself a little distance. What I'm looking to do here is really just get a, a length of the big part of the gun. Alright, uh, the base of the gun. So measure up a bit. And I mark off with this pen. Those are the rollers. 
right here. That's the knob. Okay. Going a little high there. Let me just bring it down a touch. Okay. There you go. It works better if you sit it down on the table, boys. All right, it's uh, it's firm in there. You don't want to over compromise the knob here. If you squeeze too hard, you're gonna bend the aluminum. All right, it'll bend in, and you're not gonna have a nice round shape. So you're gonna ease off the touch. That's good. Okay, and then basically you're off to the races. You just lightly spin the piece. But you hold the tool in your hand, so now I can tell I'm not getting a big enough bite. So I'm going to have to clamp down a little bit more. Feel a little pressure when you spin, okay? Oh, when you spin the knob. You can feel a little restriction when you spin it too. So I, I, right now, you may not be seeing it on that camera, but I can tell right now it's cutting through the tube, so I'm gonna try a little bit more, and I think it's probably a full look at this. And uh, it's gonna do it. Bingo. Look at that. You get a nice put on the camera just a little bit. So I should approach you slowly. Okay. You get a nice little hole. And then you go there. Okay. And a nice distance for a camera. Look at that. Damn my hands. Ah. Always mark for length. Bear with me. I'm going to speed this all up. I got these pieces and they are so tough to get in. What I'm looking to do is build that little reveal. Oh, it's in. Um, on the gun piece, okay? It, they're not showing it here on, on the plastic, but there is a little lip there. If you've ever seen a studio model uh, before, we're gonna try to simulate that. So getting this size brass into the aluminum is kind of difficult. It's really tough to do. It's, it squeezes in. You've got to kind of twist and play and push at the same time. And it's a pain in the ass, but it will go in. As you can tell, it's sliding in, and it's, there's a lot of restriction, guys, but you do get it. You've got to fight and play, so i got a little reveal there. I just want a little bit of that tube sticking out. And this is a smaller piece I just cut a little bit. I, mean, I should have made it longer because I like it going down the length, but I want is the cleanest edge out. First. Oh, look at that. Okay, now I, I'm not keeping an eye on the camera, but that's three tubes to form that gun. Okay, it's a pain in the butt. And then what I'll do is go in with uh, probably some crazy glue, and I'll I'll take it apart and I'll apply crazy glue to each layer, get it to sit, and I'll have a nice clean reveal. And where you want. Uh, that piece will look like it joins up. Okay. Alright. So, that's a gun. That's one. Okay, after futzing around for the last uh, 45 minutes or so, now I have four tubes for guns. Okay, just like that. All done in the same fashion. Alright, I'm gonna get a little 
little scuff marks there. I'll have to clean them up. Now I went and I did glue them up already. I used some uh, super glue, crazy glue, if you will. Um, I got a little sloppy putting some of it on, so I'm gonna have to take some uh, acetone and clean just a little bit of the, of the edges up here and uh, we'll buff them down. We'll get them to look pretty. Okay. Okay. Next order of business. The half moon piece, half round. Okay. And uh, this collar here too. So. Um, I've seen one of you guys already use this piece. You, you basically cut it, and I guess you pin vise the hole in the center of the half moon, half round, and uh, you got, uh, I don't know, either, I don't know if you use brass rod or, or anything else, but uh, you got that in the center and holds it all nice and tight. So, what I went and did, I was planning on just re-scratching the entire piece. Next material. Plenty of this. Some styrene tubing. And I know I have one of these that, that fit the tube well. Look at that. I think that's going to be our new collar, kids. That looks good. Okay. New collar coming up.